Well, it's called Who Gives a Hoot About Owls? And the answer is John Triffle joins us. He's a owl photographer or a nature photographer, and it's a program that's being offered over at the uh, Saskatchewan Museum, the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. And, of course, it's uh, coming up this weekend, as a matter of fact, on Sunday. And, John, you probably know a lot about owls. A little bit. A little bit? I don't want to say I've seen it all or uh -huh. know it all, but I have seen quite a lot. So who gives a hoot about owls? I do. There is a public fascination with owls. Yes, there is. And what, one thing I'd like to do with this public fascination is I, I would like to do two things going in different directions. I'd like to demystify owls a little bit uh -huh. because there's a lot of misconceptions about owls. At the same time, I'd like to point out that there's still a lot of mystery around owls, about owls, surrounding owls, uh, our perceptions of owls, mm -hmm. and what owls actually do. We, there's still a lot we need to learn, still a lot we need to uh, overcome as a society to, to understand them and to actually help ourselves as well along the way. Well, there's something mystical about this bird, and a lot of people don't know how many owls are out there, but on Sunday, you'll get a chance to see a couple live owls at the Who Gives a Hoot. Yes, we hope to have a, a burrowing owl and a great horned owl uh, on site, and people can visit these owls and learn a lot about them, and uh, encourage everybody to come out and have a great time. Now, what, what else are we going to see besides the two owls? There's also a slideshow. And yes, these I'll are some of your... Yes, I'll be, I'll be uh, showing a slideshow. I'll be talking about owls. I'll be talking about my experiences with owls. i um, like to characterize the owls a little bit for, for people. Mm -hmm. And I take them out with me, more or less, and, uh, and show them what owls are really like in, in their natural uh, habitat, as such as it is, on, sure. on the agricultural prairie, anyway. Uh -huh. Now, what was probably your most fascinating moment? of owl watching. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. Um, I think if you could just pick one, because we only have so much time. My most fascinating yeah. owl moment would be working with long eight owls at the nest. Um, they try to lure intruders away from their babies and sure. from their nest. And what they do is they, they seek out eye contact, and they have various ways of, um, uh, they act up a lot, and they're very noisy. They seem like they're aggressive, but they're not. And what they're looking for is direct eye contact. Mm -hmm. And once, once they've established that you are indeed looking at them, then they will do a vanishing act. It's a marvelous thing. And uh, th the hope is for them, I imagine, is that I will try to follow them. Away from the nest. Away from the nest. So did you establish eye contact? They established Don't leave eye us contact. hanging, John. Yes. Well, okay. the camera will reveal all okay. of Okay. <laughs> now, once again, uh, it is all happening on Sunday from 2 until 3.30 over at the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. Now, tickets are $3 for adults and 12 and over. Or the whole family can get in for $6. Or 12 and under, absolutely free when accompanied by mom or dad. And uh, what do you want to say to people that are out there doing a little owl watching? First of all, don't touch them. Yes, uh, if you find a baby owl, anybody yeah. who finds a baby, this is quite common. Mm -hmm. Um, if they find an owl on the ground, the, the thing to watch out for, especially yeah. for the larger owls, is the owl that is not on the ground. The mother or the father. Is around somewhere. In particular, the mother. Please don't go near any owls you find on the ground. Okay. Um, at least don't do it alone because you may get attacked. Okay. If you want to give a hoot about owls, drop in on Sunday and meet John Triffle and a lot more. The news at noon continues in a moment.